Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Wednesday, November 1st, 2017, and I want to talk to you about energy storage in general and iron batteries in particular. Energy storage in general, because I just ran across a really nice news article out of Australia discussing the retrofit of a steel processing plant to operate on renewable solar and stored solar energy. I find this pretty exciting because this is not a pie in the sky uh, environmentalist movement, right? This is, this is an Australian steel company that now sees that despite the fact that Australia produces a ton of coal, going to solar energy has become cheaper than coal. That's amazing to me. You can produce and store solar electric energy at a cost competitive basis with coal produced, despite the fact that Australia did not have a carbon price, did not have a strict regulations requiring a transition to renewable energy, and it's still happening. Absolutely awesome. I think it's also just really cool because it's a steel plant, they're making iron, and the solution that I'm advocating, or at least exploring, uh, for storing solar energy is an iron battery. So just dovetails so nicely with what we're doing here in the Allen Lab that I, I'm excited for it. Solar energy has quickly become the cheapest source of energy that money can buy as long as the sun is shining. And as long as there's a good, strong sun, you can't get cheaper than that. Even nuclear is more expensive and nuclear, once the nuclear plant is built, is super cheap. But you can't use it at night. So that puts a huge limitation on how much solar power you can integrate into the grid because you essentially have to have a full grid worth of non-solar generating capacity so that solar can operate or not depending on what the needs are. That relegates solar to essentially a fuel saving technology, right? Because you have to have the generating capacity. You have to build double capacity. You build your fossil plant and then you build a solar plant too. Not or, but also. So now the solar can save you the cost of fuel, but it can't replace the capital cost of a coal plant or a natural gas plant. So how do you solve that? Well, you need 24 hour solar. And the only way to get 24 hour solar is to store it. And solar thermal is a good way to store solar energy and that's being explored. Batteries, of course, Tesla's dragging the price down on lithium ion batteries. There's lots of options, but in my opinion, the option of a really, really cheap, super available chemistry, ideally one that can't pollute significantly, like an iron battery, is just a really important option for, for that, to fill that need, which is why I'm working on it. So you can check out the link in the description for old videos on the iron battery and the kind of success we're having. And if you think this kind of thing is important, I hope you'll check out the crowdfunding page. We have eight more days. There's still about $600 worth of matching funds available. Every dollar you make turns into two if you donate. So I hope you'll have a look at that. Share with your friends, share with your friends who like energy technology, new batteries, supporting open source technology, because we're going to release the plans for this battery free for everybody. I hope that you enjoy this kind of thing. And if you do tune in Monday through Friday, we talk about batteries and chemistry and new technology right here in the Allen Lab.